So in this video we're going to be looking at the same data and we're going to be calculating the range. Now the range is um, subtracting the smallest number from the largest and it tells you how spread out the data is. So if we look at our first example, the range is the largest number which is 8, subtract the smallest number which is 1, so the range is 7. Okay, now you need to make sure that you're not making a silly error here and writing something like this, the range is that. Okay, it's not just 8 take away 1, you must put the answer down, you must do the actual subtraction. So the range is 7. In our second example, we have the largest number is 21. And the smallest number is 5, and so the range is 16. For the third example, the largest number is 19, and the smallest is 3. Okay? And that would be 16. So, questions like this, questions about the range, are going to be coming into calculating it, like this, or comparing two sets of data. So let's say example one and example two. These are two, um, I've set uh, two classes the same test, and these were the scores in class A, and these were the scores in class B. To make a comparison using the range, well, I could say that uh, the first class is more consistent, Okay, because the range is smaller, so they're less consistent in the second class. However, you can see, as we have from working out the averages, uh, such as the mean, that on average, you can clearly see that class B did better than class A, uh, as to do with their scores, even though they were less consistent.